Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastofwar.com. Hi everybody, welcome to What's in the Box. Myself and John are having a look at some more Volsung. Yeah, it's are. another couple of blisters today. Yeah. And these are actually a couple of mercenaries. So okay. they work for any faction, which right. is very interesting. So we have Arthur Baskerville and one of the Hounds of Baskerville. Yeah, so we can assume by the naming convention that these two work together. Uh, yeah, and we can assume that it's got a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes twist to it. Yeah. Which is quite nice. So, I'll get the first card out. Okay. Uh, base and... Ah, so it's Arthur Baskerville himself I have. Now, this is actually interesting because these are now resin minis for yeah. Volsung. Up until now, it's been all metal. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a bit of a shift for them in what they're making. Right. But uh, I'll quickly show off Bar Arthur Baskerville's card. So he's got nine wounds, which is decent, two actions, six moves, three fight, two strength, three guns, and four reflex. Uh -huh. But it's what he does which is interesting. So he's got a pistol, so nice, simple little shooting weapon. Yep. But... If you notice on his card, he has no suit card up here. Right. So he is a character, but uh -huh. he doesn't have a specific suit. Because he has an ability, which is called uh, da -da 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 -da, all suits. Okay. So he can use any suit. So club, speed, heart, diamond for his right. heroic moves and his heroic recoveries. Mm -hmm. So that makes him instantly useful. He only generates one coin for your gang. Yeah. So he's a little bit low there. But he does have some amazing abilities. So... He has deduction. As a quick action, he can discard a certain suit to get a certain ability. So right. let's say it was spades, unparalleled intellect. This model gains plus six dice to activate a target objective. So that means he's pretty much guaranteed to get the objective on his own. Yeah. Uh, the other ones, there's some cool ones there, but I'll let you discover those for yourselves. Uh -huh. Now, the miniature is two parts. So right. It's really, really good. I'll just take that little bit of flash off. So here's our man himself with his massive cape and hunting hat. Mm -hmm. It's very cool looking. It's very dynamic as well. That cape flow is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's, we all know who this looks like. Yeah. It's very, very Sherlock Holmes-ish. You know, mm -hmm. it's all little details as well, because it's got a little magnifying glass in there, pistol and a book with another magnifying glass, as if one wasn't enough. Yeah, exactly. He <laughs> also has this, which is a sword cane. Ah. Which okay. has got some really nice intricate detail yep. sculpted into yep. it. But having a two piece mini like this, very easy to put together, you'll have it on the table in no time. Yeah. The important thing though is he comes with that hound of the Baskervilles. Have the card. So I'll quickly flash the card under camera. It's got one action, move eight, fight four, strength four, which is quite good. Zero guns, obviously it's a dog, doesn't yep. shoot. And a reflex of three. Mm -hmm. The fun part is it's got armor four, it's a mercenary golem. Mm. And it's got a ferocious beast and resolute rule. Okay. So because it's a golem, you need a scientist to run with it. Yep. He's a scientist. Yeah. He's also a noble, so mm -hmm. he'll work well with the Ashen Oak or the Inventors Club. Yeah. But what this has is ferocious beast. While this model is within twelve of Arthur Baskerville, its melee attacks topple if it rolls any criticals. So having a beast that can automatically topple people is brilliant for you. Yeah. It's also got resolute. Now this is a rule I really like. If an enemy model moves or makes an action within three inches of a friendly Arthur Baskerville, this model may take an action immediately after the enemy model, enemy model finishes its activation. Right. So say someone goes into combat with him. Yep. They're within three inches of him. The dog activates and charges right after they get their attack in. And then that would topple the model? Yeah, because he's moved within 12 of Arthur Baskerville. Yeah. So it basically means that model has to, you know, stand itself up. It's losing actions to actually get into the fight again. Yeah. But you also get your bonuses, so long as it's not on a larger base, whatever's attacking Arthur. Okay. So the dog itself... The dog itself is beautifully cast. I was just taking a look at it there, and wow, it was so really we've nice. We've got the body. Yeah. So it's really nicely done. A couple of little smokestacks, robotic tail, venting all the piping and stuff you'd expect to see. Maybe a little glow effect from the furnace would be nice. Possibly. Uh, we then have its head, so... 
it's very much the the canine of this world. Yep, it is a beautifully sculpted head too as well. Really nice detail in there. You've got the teeth and everything, which is good. Yeah, and then you've obviously got a hind leg, I think. Uh, possibly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll have your four legs as well. Yep. So. This looks to be a miniature that's going to be quite easy to put together and you should have some nice posability in it. Yeah, definitely. You know. So overall, in a game, these could be quite nasty mm -hmm. because Volsung plays really well with good objectives. Whenever you have a good scenario with lots of objectives, this guy's going to be someone you're going to want to put down on the table because yeah. he can run up, he can get those objectives. He's got a couple of abilities which actually hurt your opponent whenever they're trying to take care of objectives. I think yep. you can discard a card of a certain suit and give them minus two to their dice pull. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very useful. Right. Uh, well, what do we think? Will we put them together? Let's, let, well, let's put them together mm. uh, and we'll maybe chuck some primer on them as well and just okay. see what they look like. All right, we'll be back after the break. Okay, so we have Arthur Baskerville built mm -hmm. as well as his little Hound of Baskerville. Yep. They look fantastic once you have them together. He's got a really nice motion of him drawing his sword cane. Yes, definitely. Um, you built these two? Yeah, really, really easy to put together. Yeah. Uh, like I said, for Mr. Baskerville himself, it's just you're plugging the two arms into the, the wrists. Yeah. And as you can see, I got the little dog up and running forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's a really, really nice pose. Yeah. A very nice model too, mm -hmm. definitely a very it's, nice model. It's a nice addition to any of your forces, you know, because I mean like, say your your mate, say you want to expand your, your games a little bit, but your yep. mate doesn't have enough to do it. Yeah. You can give him these two, and it just, it lets him come up to maybe a three hero game to mm -hmm. actually play at that higher level than the, the standard two player starters, or standard two hero starter games you would be playing. Yeah, exactly. You know. um, I'm going to steal these for my inventors. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Well, I, no, I suppose that is actually fair enough because we have some painted stuff already in the office yeah. and you only got two heroes with the starter set that you painted. Yes, but then I expanded. Ah, uh, yes, because you've got uh, the little fellow who's flying about. Yeah, and the golem, so uh, I have expanded out a little bit. Mm. Well, it, it gives you more flexibility and options depending on what type of game we're playing. Just yeah. don't forget, at the start of a game of Volsung, you have to put your heroes down first and then build your henchmen into it afterwards. Yeah. You know, so you'll see who what heroes I have I'll see what heroes you have, and we're then building against each other. Okay. Which is one of the things I really like about Volsung. Yeah. All right, well, guys, uh, that's a couple more minis for Volsung. They're really nice. Drop us a comment below. Tell us which of the factions you think these would work really, really well in, mm -hmm. which faction you think they maybe wouldn't work so well in. We'll move on here, and we'll see you in the next video. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on beastofwar.com and begin your story. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com.